Okay, so the other day, I got a reply to a comment that I made, I believe it was on a Hacker Week video, about audio amplifiers. And the comment that I made, I stated that I'd made a Class B amplifier with no distortion. And I got a reply to that comment, he says he wants to see the circuit, but I thought before we get to the circuit, I'll show you the amplifier itself. Now I've got my old video editing PC, which I call Franken PC, because it's a complete mishmash of other computers put together. Anyway, if we go and take a little look inside, this little circuit board here is that very amplifier I was talking about. See, it has an op amp. And two pairs of output transistors because it's a little stereo amplifier. I only need to use one op amp because we've got two op amps in the same chip there, or a dual core op amp, if you will. And that is a little stereo class B audio amplifier. And that's used to power these two speakers here. This one here is just a third one I threw in just for. Goodness only knows why, but I can switch that speaker in and out by this switch here. But we don't need to worry about that. So actually, let's hear this play some music. Okay, so let's play a MIDI. Because pretty much everybody knows how PC MIDI sounds. So, let's play something. And of course it would help if the volume was turned up. Okay, that's enough of that. The microphone is probably compressing the dynamics the hell out of that, but it doesn't really matter. It's not my kind of music anyway, but this is more my kind of thing with music. Gritty music module sound. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that. Now let's have a look at the circuit. Okay, so here is the circuit of that little amplifier. As you can see, got a TL072 op amp driving a pair of output transistors. Now, this is just one side of the amplifier circuit. Let's say the left side. There's not really much point in drawing the other side as well because it's exactly the same circuit. But you might have noticed that the output transistors have the bases connected directly together with no voltage drop diodes or biasing resistors or anything like that don't need them and the outputs, the two emitters of the two transistors are also connected directly together with no resistors because with this circuit we're not going to run into a situation where both transistors are on and fighting each other so we don't need those two resistors there so can just connect those directly together and out to the speaker the feedback instead of being connected here to the negative or non-inverting input of the op-amp we take the output from the transistors and we feed that into the negative inputs or non-inverting input and that will provide a corrected waveform to the two transistors so there's no need for biasing I wouldn't strictly say the output of this thing is hi-fi, but it's good enough. Another thing I should mention is that you do want to use an op-amp with a good slew rate. You wouldn't want to use something like an LM741 or something like that. As you can see here in the schematic I've used a TL072, that seems to work well enough. And of course if you want more gain you could just increase this resistor here said it just have a little bit of game. Now I suppose you want to see some tests with signal generators and oscilloscopes and stuff like that. Well, I'm not going to do it because somebody else has already done that. So I'll put a link into his video. Anyway, I've got to get on with my life now. So yeah, until next time, goodbye.